Hey Robert, Scott from Hey You Guys. Lovely to see you. Very well, thank you. Uh, congratulations on the film. Thanks. Saw it this morning. I'm still kind of like shaking, but congratulations on that. Uh, I read a report with an uh, interview with Ethan Hawke and he said it was like working on Apocalypse Now in the sense that he's working with a filmmaker that was taking a big swing. Do you take that as a compliment that someone like him has said something like that? How could I take it by anything <laughs> else? But, but I mean, of course, it's a massive compliment, yeah. And uh, I, I wanted to ask you about the cinematography, which is just exceptional in this. How how early into the process did you set upon what you wanted the film to look like? Because you know you got the dark scenes, which are very distinctive. The light scenes are very distinctive. How did you settle on what you wanted it to look like? I mean, pretty early on, the the night scenes are inspired by Jaron Blaschke, my DP's time in Africa in remote locations with no light pollution, and that's his experience of experiencing night with no light pollution. And then, you know, uh, as far as the, the scenes inside at night, uh, Vikings just had a big fire and that's it. <laughs> so so that's what we all, all we have to work with, you know. And uh, in terms of obviously budget aside, what did this film kind of test you? How did this film test you in ways you hadn't been tested before in your previous couple of films? I mean, in every single way possible. I'd never, uh, I'd never staged uh, a fight sequence, much less a massive Viking raid uh, of, a, of a village before. So uh, this was just exponentially more huge in every single way. Uh, I mean, I, you know, my last movie literally had two people in it. <laughs> Yeah. And I wanted to ask you about the scene, there's a great scene with Ethan and Willem and a young actor that plays the young Alexander. Obviously quite an intense scene in the way that it's shot, but I imagine that was they, those two guys were quite uh, ho helpful and quite open and quite funny with the young actor in terms of what the scene was about. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think, I don't know what Ethan Hawke and Willem Dafoe means to an 11 year old today, but certainly, you know, he knew that they were... Uh, his dad and uh, the shaman and that they were into it and it was okay to be crazy and also you know he was 11 so he's not like puberty wasn't there to tell him to be embarrassed so he really could let go yeah and just finally i wanted to ask this quickly about alexander he's, he's such a phenomenal presence in, in many things that he's done what do you think people can see differently in this in his performance that he ha people haven't seen before i mean it's his uh, it's his best performance i think um and and i just th think the commitment is insane the, the 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 fury that he's able to channel as this character is shocking and especially knowing alex who's like the nicest sweetest goofiest fun loving gentle person and he becomes like this you know tormented beast who literally carries the weight of trauma on his shoulders throughout the whole movie fantastic well, i wish you all the best of it thanks so much for your time Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!